So we are going to try to catch up with Rory Sutherland from United Healthcare, who has just won the Tour de Beauce and uh, the 27th annual Tour de Beauce, and uh, we're going to give Rory a call and see if we can uh, chat with the winner. Hello, Rory speaking. Oh, hey, Rory Sutherland. Yeah. Hey, Rory Benjamin Saddleway from Pedal Magazine. How are you? Good. How are you? Hey, very big day for you today, eh? Yeah, good, good day for the whole team. Yeah, absolutely. Very exciting. Uh, is this your first uh, time to the Tour de Beauce? Yeah, first time to the Tour de Beauce. Uh, first time to Quebec. So, uh, nice, nice, way to, nice way to do it, I think. Yeah, it's a very, uh, very nice way to debut up here. Sure. Pretty exciting to be on the podium, I guess, with Christian Meyer as well, your former teammate, eh? Ah, yeah, it's exciting. It's, you know, he's a, he's a nice guy and obviously a, a great rider. And, uh, you know, him and, uh, him and Swain kind of threw down pretty hard today to try and, to try and take the overall. So it's, it's nice that we had some... Uh, at, at the time, it's not so nice, but it's nice that, uh, you know, it, uh, we earned the win in the end, you know? Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, you know, friends off the bike, but uh, rivals when you're on the bike. Yeah, but that's the way you want to do it, you know, you want people to, you know, I much prefer if people race to, to win the race, you know, for themselves, um, and like I said, that's, that gives a better feeling when you, when the team finishes the job in the end. Absolutely. So, so the, uh, did the race unfold as you guys kind of expected up until the Queen stage, which was the, uh, the, uh, the climb up Megantic? Yeah, you know, uh, it was kind of the first day it seemed to be... You know, I was, I was away with uh, Mansebo at the finish line with three of us, and the guy behind me, Dallas, ran into my back wheel and broke my wheel, and so it stopped me 500 meters from the finish line. Otherwise, I think we would have uh, um, we would have maybe taken the lead on the first day. So it's kind of like a blessing in disguise, maybe, <laughs> um, to have Mansebo and their team having to having to lead the race the first two days and control it. Um, you know, after that, it's just, you know, day by day, especially being the first time here for me, it's kind of different stages every day. Um, and just, you know, from, from day one, we, as a team, we rode well together and, and did, you know, the things that, that we had to do and, and stayed on task, which I think was the, the main thing, and the rest kind of kind of comes from itself. Now, coming into Megantic, and I'm sure you heard many things about that stage uh, from your teammates and other, other people along the way this being your first time, but you were 23rd before coming into that stage, and then mm-hmm. you, you you came in uh, third on the stage, and that puts you third overall. Mm-hmm. Uh, did Megantic live up to your expe- expectations of pain? Yeah, no, it was definitely a very hard stage. You know, it's a, it, it's a pretty, it, it's a hard stage, it's a hard finish climb with, with the condition of the roads, you know, a lot of cracks in the roads, a lot of bumpy parts of the roads, obviously, because you're up, I guess, at one of the highest points in the, uh, in the in the area, yep. um, especially after you know what what winter does to those roads, um, and also you can see pretty much the whole climb all the way up, so it's kind of daunting when you see it. Yeah. Um, you know, luckily that day I had a you know I had really good legs. That's probably the the best day I had all week in in feeling. So didn't really run into any problems and was able to do what I wanted to do. So it was you know it's, it's a pretty spectacular climb. Definitely uh, definitely happy happy we got to go up it and, and and see the beauty from there as well. Absolutely. Um, was that the first time like, after that climb did you feel that you had a, a shot at winning the overall? Yeah, you know, it, it all comes, it definitely comes down to obviously the time trial and then, and then the last the last couple of days. But I said to my roommate after Megantic when I had a good feeling and, and, you know, could basically with a goal of staying within, you know, before the stage of staying within 30 seconds of Mansebo, depending on how he was climbing and you know, to finish with him means we finish on time and then going into the time trial, we can, you know, uh, I'm obviously stronger there than, than what he is at the moment. Yeah. And so we can definitely take a, a good chunk of time out of him. Um, you know, that was kind of the, the point that, that set us up for, you know, yeah, we can do this. We're in a good position to do this. So we just need to make sure that we don't kind of mess it up. That's the main thing. Absolutely. When we spoke to Mancibo, I mean, he said you were the biggest threat at that point after... Uh after a Megantic, and uh, sure enough, you took the jersey uh, on uh, on stage four. How did it feel when you first put on the jersey? Yeah, it's good. You know, it's been uh, it's been an up and down year. We've been racing in Europe a lot at the start of the year, in in smaller smaller races, and you know, crappy weather, and getting 
up ups kicked every now and again, and a lot of <laughs> bad luck and and all that kind of thing. So it's uh, you know we we brought a similar team to Tour of the Healer this year, and and we won there, and really kind of that was the first point that, that the guys that we have, which is pretty much the same team that we have here, we uh, you know started working well properly as a team together, and from that point on, you know this is the next kind of UCI race, which is. Uh, just uh, obviously a little bit lower level than, than California, where we can where we can use all that together. Mm-hmm. So it's uh, yeah, it's obviously a, a great feeling and knowing that you know the the work that your teammates are putting in that you can pay them at the same time. Now, were you feeling on uh, stage five that the Quebec gods were uh, against you when you had the mechanical? Uh, no, like when you when you hear about how much snow falls here over the winter, there's no way you can keep the roads in great condition, and there's uh, there's potholes which are basically big craters here, so you know it's. I flatted today as well, so <laughs> it's, uh, you know I don't usually flat very often in races or have mechanicals, and it seems to have happened pretty much every day at this race. So that's uh, that's that's part of the beauty and part of part of it, I guess. And when you came into today's stage, you had a 19 second margin, so that's a pretty uh, pretty nice uh, you know comfortable uh, position to be in. What was your what was your strategy today? You know, with with a guy like Hugo, he's, he's young. He's he's obviously very talented, and I think he's going to have a bright future. And he's you know to go with that, he's a he's a super nice guy as well. I've had some some good chats with him, and you know I think it's what it, what he's done here as a rider has been has been pretty fantastic. I think it's really opened up you know what his future is going to be like, which I think is great. Mm-hmm. Um, Nine seconds isn't isn't a whole lot, but you know I'm I'm thirty, he's twenty one. I've now this is my tenth uh, tenth stage race win in the last you know in North America in the last five years. I've got a, got a bit of experience on him in that, and and know what to do when it when it gets when the when the shit ha- shit hits the fan, so to speak. <laughs> um, and and having that benefit, and and obviously a race in California, you know, it means I'm not exceptionally too worried about him uh, at the end of the day. It's the the other guys who like to like to throw down and risk everything to to win the race that you kind of have to be worried about more. Yep. So uh, in the end, it uh, everything fell into place, and you and you end up uh, as the winner. Um, yeah. How's your French, by the way? Uh, a little bit, a little bit. I've done it at a, I learned it at school, and you know I raced in Europe for for five years. So I speak Flemish, and I speak a little bit of French from living in Belgium as well, but not a uh, not enough to. Quebecois is a little bit different than uh, than than French <laughs> than the standard French. A little bit more difficult to understand, but. Luckily, the uh, the people here in in St George have uh, they a lot of them speak English, and you know even though we're in their city and don't speak their language, they kind of uh, are friendly and nice enough to to speak a little bit of English to us. So, what's on tap for you next, Rory? Uh, I've got a few races here in the states, um, just some criterium and things, doing some VIP stuff for the team, uh, doing a bit of a build up uh, in the month of July towards uh, Utah and Colorado. You know, some big altitude races are very important for the for the team and the sponsorship, obviously. And uh, going to try and have a have a good go there and and, and kind of try and hunt stage wins and uh, see where we come on GC, depending on how the race is ridden. Now, is this your first race in Canada? Uh, I did the Worlds in two thousand and three in Hamilton. Oh, that's a long time ago. So I guess yeah. So it's my second time in Canada and uh, first time in uh, in Quebec. So I hope we're going to see more of you up here. Oh, we'll see. You know, it's a it's a pretty spectacular race, and you know, beautiful beautiful scenery and beautiful people here. So, and I mean beautiful people in the sense of you know friendly and and warm and, and inviting to to this bunch of bike riders that just turn up and basically turn the town upside down for a week. So, you know, I'd, I'd love to come back and I'd love to come here on vacation maybe in summer. I think I'll stick with somewhere else in the winter though. Sounds good. Well, listen, Rory, we want to wish you congratulations, and I believe the team won the overall as well, correct? Yeah, we've got the team classification too, which is like a little added extra to, you know, like a, an extra thanks to the team and and showed what, what a hard work they've done all week. Well, it means you have extra extra rounds tonight for celebration. Apparently so. <laughs> okay, well, all the best. Thanks for spending time with us. Great, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.